Hi, I um, I'd like to talk about the general creation of areas for departments. Trying to combine workflow work groups and sites is not the answer in my opinion. I'm I know how SharePoint works reasonably well. I understand, you know, the where the requests are coming from. This is Beatrix though. It is a different system. So first of all, Beatrix does have something that looks like this on the front end. And then of course the back end has, you know, a whole control panel. This is where the CMS actually is located. Here are all of the files and folders that that comprise the portal. All right. So much like the uh, SharePoint, in, except that, of course, SharePoint has this in a, uh, you know, in your in your settings section and things like that. So from here, I mean, just just a very. Let's create a page uh, here. Create page. Okay, we could create a new page. Let's call this the the uh, front page. Page uh, for IT depth. Okay, that's a kind of silly name. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I I could put it somewhere but but anyway um, all right so I'm gonna finish that Beatrix is a PHP system that uses components okay I'm now going to edit this page it gives me this okay and it gives me a list of components one of the things in the components uh, which I'm, I'm not sure where this is so I'm gonna have to look for it dashboard personal dashboard. Okay, it says personal dashboard. It can obviously be used for for um, uh, several things. So this personal dashboard here, let me do that again. So I'm, I'm putting the personal dashboard on here. Then I can um, com configure it. However, this is a personal dashboard, meaning, uh, meaning it can be configured by an individual user. Let me just show you what happens if I do that. So now I have I've created this page. I've got a dashboard on it. This dashboard allows me to add gadgets as a person so I can find an employee. Okay, there it is. Okay, I am doing this on the fly here, but here we can for example, external services, RSS feed, there's your weather, your news, whatever else. Company life, here are informa here's here's like a news block, okay? Uh, okay, so I add a news block, um, and I can set that to have. Well, okay, I guess I, I guess that that only has those things. Uh, let's add another gadget. Um, just a moment. Where's the uh, well CRM stuff? Company drive. Okay. Company drive seems to seems to um, take up all the space. Let me try. Um, let me just get rid of that and re refresh that. Um, okay, so all right. In short, you can you can end up with a dashboard that looks pretty much anything like anything you want. Okay, just as a very just as an example, um, it can look like. Oh, that's not it. That's it. Okay, it can look like this. Okay, with uh, I mean now this is more for sales, but you know you've got your calendar. We could easily get get a an, uh, news feeds in here, uh, the the um, uh, block for um, documents, uh, stuff like that. Okay, three columns whatever you like, collapsing menu, stuff like that. Okay, so that can be done. However, what is not really feasible, in my opinion, is converting the work groups into a, where are my work groups? Into a site as is understood in SharePoint. My suggestion would be to have your menu as you saw as you wanted it coming across the top with with all of the various departments and then each department would actually have a page 
perhaps a dashboard page like I tried to show just now. I, I hope I at least convinced you that it's flexible enough to do that. This is a content management, a full-fledged content management system. And then inside that dashboard, you then can go into um, a work group. Okay, inside that dashboard, you can go to the various drives that you set up for that work group. So rather than having a drive here, it would be they would be accessible from that page. Um, the sites feature of Beatrix 24 is, in my opinion, and in the opinion of my developers, absolutely useless for this purpose. Okay, you're not that this is a this is a uh, this is just a completely different content. This is like a miniature content management system set on on top of a real content management system. You just simply don't need this. I realize that the editing is is uh, yeah, you know is is better than than coming in here and hitting the you know hit, hitting the the edit page button. But as you saw that that dashboard component uh, can be can be modified so that only one person sets it up and it becomes the dashboard for that group. So I, uh, uh, I highly recommend utilizing Beatrix as a CMS system, not worry, not trying to, to use the sites tool as the interface by which department heads uh, enter features and information into the system. That's backwards. This this is on top of the real system. We uh, and so we we can't. It's it's just not. Um, it would take a lot of customization to do that. Whereas if we use the tools that are, if we use the tools that are in, available in Beatrix in their regular way, we can get what you need a lot 